Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Exploring Photography right here on Adorama TV. I'm Mark Wallace in Madrid, Spain in Tactics Studios and today I'm going to first start with a very basic lighting setup with an exceptional model. Her name is Annabelle, come on out. And Annabelle speaks zero English and I no hablo español at all. And so this is going to be exciting. Thank you for Google Translate. So what we're going to do is we're going to begin with a very, very basic lighting setup an umbrella that's it but I want to spice things up a little bit using basura which is Spanish for trash that's right I have literally taken some trash out of a trash can and just chopped the bottom out of this translucent bowl I guess we're gonna use this as an unusual light modifier to spice things up to change things from good to a little bit better. So without further ado, let's get started right now. All right, well, we have our umbrella set up. This is gonna give us nice soft light. It's gonna give us images that aren't bad, but they're just sort of boring. And so we need to build a foundation with this sort of boring setup. So it's just a single umbrella, a beautiful model. And now I want to meter this. So I'm gonna give my little meter here to Annabelle. And then she's just gonna hold that under her chin. I'm gonna trigger this using my Profoto remote. So I'll click that and that meters at exactly at 2.8 that's exactly what I want I want nice shallow depth of field so that later on when I'm using my trash it's out of focus but let's start with just our normal lighting setup just so you can see how that looks That is a pretty good lighting setup if you have a fantastic model, which Annabelle is. And so that is gonna work nine times out of 10. But I wanna spruce things up just a little bit to get some unusual effects. I don't want my images to look just like everybody else's. Well, I'm gonna do that with my secret weapon, and that is this. It's a piece of trash. So all I did was I took this little bowl here and I cut the bottom out. And so then I can put that in front of my lens and it's gonna create some interesting effects. Now, the key to this is I have metered at 2.8, which means that when I put this in front of my lens, it's gonna fall out of focus, and it's not gonna be a piece of trash, it's just gonna be some specular highlights. But this has no color, it's just translucent. I wanna add some color to this. So let me make some changes and walk through exactly how this works. So let me just set things up really quickly and then we'll fine tune things. So I have a secret weapon and that is this light right over here. Now you've seen me, uh, that's a little bit heavy. You've seen me uh, throw light into a lens to get lens flare a million times. But that is not what we're doing here. What this light is doing, it's got a blue gel on it. I can put a blue gel or a red gel or a green gel or whatever I want, and that color is going to be hitting my little piece of trash. So that's gonna be hitting the piece of trash, and the highlights of that are gonna to change to whatever color this gel is. So you can use any kind of light, a speed light, a fancy pro photo light, it doesn't matter. We just need something to throw some color onto this piece of trash. Annabelle is in place, and our lighting setup is very simple. We have a pro photo medium size umbrella. It's giving us nice soft light, but the key of this is this light right here that's got a blue gel you can use red or pink or whatever you want to put some uh, highlights on a piece of trash and then that piece of trash needs to be translucent and you place that right in front of your lens and move it about to get different effects as you're shooting your model so as Annabelle is moving around I'll be doing this and then based on how much I move that I will get different effects inside of my lens and on the uh, exposure and because I'm using a really shallow depth of field it will just show up as a blob We have to do a bit of post-production to bring out all the goodness that our cameras captured, all the details that are in these files. And so what I'm going to do here is use the develop module in Adobe Lightroom, or you can use Adobe Camera Raw in Photoshop. Either way, this will work the same uh, in both cases. So what we're going to be playing with are our radial filters. So again, in the develop module, zip over to your radial filter, and we're going to apply two of these guys. So I'm going to click on the radial filter, and the first thing I want to do is change the exposure. So I'm going to click the effect, choose exposure, 
And then I'm going to set that exposure to negative one. So you can play with this on your files, but on mine, about negative one works pretty well. I don't want to change the exposure on Annabelle's face. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click right on her face and then drag outwards. And you can see I'm leaving her face alone. I'm just changing the exposure on the outside of this filter, on the outside of this circle. So it's darkening the edges, but it's leaving her face alone. I can click and drag this around just to make sure I don't want to change the exposure too much on her hand and her hair, etc. Just the outside edges of this. It's sort of like a vignette, but it's specific to the entire image except her face. I want to do that again, except for this time I want to add some more saturation. Again, I don't want to change the saturation on her face to make her skin look weird. I just want to really saturate these colors that we captured in the camera. So I'm going to zip over here. I'm going to click on new. And then the effect here is saturation. So I will click on saturation and I want my saturation to really be saturated. So I'm going to take that up to around 70. And then again, I'm going to click on Annabelle's face and drag outwards. So I'm going to go way out here about like that. I'm going to drag this down just a little bit. Again, I'm keeping the saturation on her face the same, but I'm really saturating these colors outside of that so we can see all that stuff that was in the reflection of that little piece of trash. All right, our two radio filters are finished. I'm going to click close. A couple other things that I want to do here. I am going to add a vignette. So I'm just going to add a very small vignette, something about negative 20, something around there. And that's just going to add a nice burn around the edges. And you can see that's really pulling some stuff out. And then to give this a little bit more filmic look, I'm going to add just a touch of grain. So I'm going to bring that up to about 16, 17. The size you can play with, I'm going to leave that to uh, 20, 21, and the roughness about 15. That's all there is to it. I'm going to hit the Y shortcut key, and you can see the before and after. Just a couple of radio filters, a vignette, and some grain really makes a difference to our image. So let me show you how the rest of these images look. so much for joining us for this episode of Exploring Photography, where we took this piece of trash and made it into an interesting light modifier. But I think our results had something to do with our fantastic model, Annabelle. And you can find her on Instagram at... Annabella Debe. Perfecto. And I put that right here so you can see exactly how to get to her Instagram feed. It's really pretty spectacular. Well, thanks again for joining us. Make sure you click subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. It's free. And turn on the bell so you get notifications. Thanks again. And we will see you again next time. Adios!